Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our team will be presenting on the assigned integrated design project for the conversion of palm oil to biodiesel. We are from Group 1 consists of Sarah Farina, Muhammad Taufik, Aiswarya, Abdul Rahman, Abdul Fatih and Dalbin. We welcome our dear lecturers from separation process 2, reaction engineering 1 and process modeling and simulation. Hello, I am Fatih presenting the introduction. Biodiesel is a monoalkyl ester of fatty acid manufactured from vegetable and animal fats, usually produced during a process of esterification and cross-esterification. The primary benefit of utilizing the biodiesel are that it reduces the hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions, increases the tan numbers, produces less smoke and particles, improve engine lubricity when used in conjunction with low sulfur diesel fuels and is much more sustainable and less hazardous than regular fuels. This project involved three related courses to place during our study, Reaction Engineering 1, Process Modeling and Simulation and Separation Process 2, in which its subject introduced their own goal for the project. The major purpose of Reaction Engineering 1 required us to design and construct a reaction process system for the conversion reaction of palm oil resources into biodiesel by describing the type of reactor utilized and its operating parameters. The primary goal for process modeling and simulation is to perform mathematical model equation which is necessary in the conversion reaction process aside from the simulation itself. Lastly, Separation process to require us to build an appropriate separation process system that will increase the quality of biodiesel while also increasing its production. Hello, my name is Taufik, so I will give you an insight about Reaction Engineering 1 process. Firstly, uh, for the type of reaction used, we use CSTR as it has an effective mixing and perform under steady state within form properties. The study stated that when a CSTR is running continuously at steady state, the concentration of any chemical use should always be constant throughout the reactor and we utilize two CSTR for this palm oil production. Next, the operating condition, the temperature set for the 50 degrees Celsius uh, as the boiling point of methanol is 65 degrees Celsius and the pressure for this palm oil plant is 180 m as the pressure for the operating condition is low, so a low pressure is needed for the plant to operate. The catalyst used is potassium hydroxide because it has a high conversion rate in trans-esterification reaction and the conversion rate for first reactor is 65% and the remaining 35% goes to the second reactor and undergo another 65% conversion. After that, it is about the maximizing of the yield and selectivity of the biodiesel. To maximize the selectivity, we can minimize the composition of water in the feed as you can see in the reaction. The side reaction that might occur happen under the presence of water. Besides that, the recycling the remaining reactants from product stream to the feed can also help in increasing the yield as it ensure more reactant experience to reaction process. Lastly, it's about reacting sizing. Firstly, construct a store community table as usual with the notation 0 as feed. 1 as CSTR1 products and 2 as 2 CSTR product. Then by substituting both conversion X as 0.65 and convert everything in the terms of FA node, we can get a flow rate in this equation form. Finally, we use value from reference to obtain the rate constant which is 0.012397. Then by combining the moral balance and elementary rate law of reaction, we get the final equation where V equals to FA node X divided by the rate constant times CACB to power of 3 which gives us the final volume for both CSTR 0.7434 m3 for CSTR1 and 1.2932 m3 for CSTR2. Hi, my name is Abdurrahman Khalid. I will be talking about separation process 2, myself and Sarah, my classmate. Myself and Sarah will be talking about biodiesel production equipments, function and working mechanism. So where the process we chose is made up of three different components or equipments, namely centrifugal separator, solvent extractor, and lastly, falling film evaporator. So what is centrifugal separator? Basically, it is a separator that depends on the difference between specific gravity of a liquid and the solid being filtered. The separation efficiency will increase if the difference is large. 
The separator efficiency is also affected by the particular or particle size. For most separators, 14 microns is considered the visibly the visibility threshold. Its function here is to separate glycerol and water from biodiesel, which is crucial for the success of the process. So it's one of the best separator since this choice is determined by considering the factors such as quality needed, flow rate, solid contamination, and economics. Also, the initial capital operation, operating, waste disposal, and maintenance costs that all must be considered. Solvent extraction. So what is solvent extraction? It is a process in which a compound transfers from one solvent to another owing to the difference in solubility or distribution coefficient between those two immiscible or less soluble solvent. This process uses liquid-liquid extraction, LLE, which is commonly known as solvent extraction, which is a preferred method that allows manufacturers to extract undesired material from metals from liquid stream, which in this case would be methanol and catalyst. So again, its function is to wash biodiesel, which generally is used to remove impurities from biodiesel, especially like methanol and the catalyst. I have summarized the values from our calculations and these are the tabulated values. Uh, the values that I would like to highlight in this section would be the mass flow rate of water in the feed stream and the mass flow rate of water in the liquid stream. As we can observe, the mass flow rate of water in the liquid stream, which is 7.1428 kg per hour, is much smaller than that of mass flow rate of water in the feed stream. This can be concluded that there is a significant amount of water vaporized to achieve a purity of biodiesel which is 98% mass fraction. I would also like to highlight uh, the amount of steam used to evaporate the water which is 163.2 kilograms per hour and uh, the capacity of evaporator would be 97,564 watts. The steam economy is found to be 0 0.70